In, in what seems to be a dress rehearsal for 2022, a section of Ukambani leaders or politicians have asked Waipa leader Kalonzo Musyokata to stop meddling in the political affairs of Machakos County ahead of the anticipated senatorial by-election. And as Gabriel Kudaka reports, several candidates have been cleared by IBC to vie for various posts in the coming by-elections across the country. The upcoming by-elections are proving to be an opportunity for various parties to stake their claim and place in the political landscape ahead of the 2022 general elections, going by the jostling witness from different parties. Speaking after a church service at Matu Catholic Church in Machakos, Mandeleo Chap Chap leaders said they had their own homegrown party to take care of their interests. Mindeleo Chap Chap has endorsed former Water and Irrigation Minister John Mutua while Waipa Party Tam. and still on matters by election, the Machakos senatorial seat continues to attract more candidates with the Chamacha Uzalendo unveiling Lilian Duku Mwingi. To correct the notion uh, that uh, Chamacha Uzalendo didn't have a candidate. Uh, we don't have any coalition agreement with any political party in this country. In what appears to be an attempt to solidify the Luya unity, ANC party leader Musalia Mudavadi and Ford Kenya leader Moses Wetangula have agreed to work together to clinch the Matungu and Kabuchai parliamentary seats respectively. Our unity and the unity of purpose is what is going to propel our distinguished community and all the people who live in this region. The habit of people coming to try and dismantle our resolve in this region must come to a stop through the by-election of Kabuchai and Matunga. In Wasin Gishu County, 16 candidates were cleared by the IEBC to vie for Horuma Ward seat that fell vacant after death of Peter Chomba. Na niataka kuelekea kiwanjani kupambana na watu wengine. Na ningependa kuomba wananchi wakuje kwa wingi wakati wa nomination ya jubilee watu walikuwa ni wachache. We have put in place measures to ensure that the Ministry of Health guidelines on the corona pandemic is observed. Gabriel Kudaka, NT24.